Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to Let's Play Biomutant, where we are at a different location than we were in the last episode. I never seen this one, and we are gonna do. I don't know if it's just a. Whether it is just a little. Better to be on top of a mount than standing behind it. You're right, better than. I lost the point. Um, better than. <laughs> I hope that it's going to be a wonderful little mission instead of a just a looting thingy location. Okay, nasty boy, then you are gonna be the next target. Because shooting is insanely, well, I want to say unfair, but that is not it. Ah, and I remember we can, I'm not certain if we are gonna be able to do it in this episode, but we can collect the signature weapon of the one clan we took down, or not took down, but integrated into ours in not the last episode, but one episode before. And maybe the first time now the glider is gonna be of help here. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Okay. Oh, ah, we could climb down, but... Isn't that cooler? I know, I should have taken it the first time before I actually, invest, so to say, invested into the... Automaton the fire thing. Saving. Make the most of the day. I always do. Every day. Every night. Okay, we need to jump on the bellow, right? The only way to clear the nag flies out of here is to jump on those bellows and blow them away. Get hopping. There was it. As simple. You blew those flies away. Whoosh! Wants to know what you need to air out. Figures things must be bad if you're out in the dark like this. Didn't have much else to say, so no problem. Wants to know what you need to air out. Says goodbye to you. Alright, moth infestation done. This is to be utterly honest with you. One little thing I do not enjoy. A, I meant it's not marked here anymore, but I can show it later on. We are then still gonna do this one. What I oftentimes do not, maybe I'm just too stupid to understand how to get out of it, but oftentimes the conversation are in somewhat of a circle and that is kind of weird. I sometimes don't get out of it, but anyways, I don't want to complain. Oh, hello boy. The other hand, on the other hand, why did he not just simply jump on the moth thingy? Make the most of the night while you can. By himself. So two more, three more things we're gonna do that is for certain let me call in transportation
That was weird, right? Okay, I just would like to summon the boat. Then we do it that way. I like. And maybe I can summon it in here. That would be splendid. Okay, I don't know why. Boy? There we go. On the other hand, we can, if we be a little bit careful, just do it like that, right? I'm sorry. Collected e-waste. The oil claimed this land a long time ago. Weird boys, right? Are they coming back? No, no, he's destroyed. Oh, hello. Are we gonna make... We should actually make that. Perfect, splendid, nice. Still, the transportations are sometimes despawning, I think is kind of weird. Why ever our mount did not come? It was quite a while ago someone Ooh. called that a Bring it slowly but quickly down. I think this is the biggest foe we have so far faced. But as you can see, he's not the most damage dealing one. The stand, okay, take it. Nice, and at spot we are. Ooh. That's a strong box from the times past. It's not often you see them these days. It kept your precious secured in and everyone else locked out. Seems like the cranks need to be unturned in the right order if you want to crack the strong box open. A mask? A ghost mask. Sadly enough, it's not as good as ours. Okay. So there are a couple of strong boxes um, we could still collect here. Let me divine. Let us actually, for the end of this episode, go to the Ankati tribe and claim the tribe weapon. Right? We have the fast travel. The light is nearly blinding. 
Isn't that great, the buddy? Ankarty fortress. Breathe slowly if you can. Why? Weirdly enough, this weapon was not presented to us before. Or I might just have overseen it. I don't know. It was a bow, wasn't it? It's the Ankarty bow. Quite fast fire. Okay, we will try it out for a little while, right? Collected this one. These are so to say only side donk box, notice board, find a dirty friend, captives. You know, um, we are already gonna begin now and then finalize it in. The next episode we are gonna do this crap so to say crap and then going to go into this direction in order to capture them right this is a lovely lovely thing all right mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let's call in our wonderful mount let's get that mount moving while the getting is good okay let's let us actually go there first this we still can do in this episode the new wung fu i'm gonna do in the off this guy's on our side And in the middle we have the wonderful tree. Why did I shoot there? Um, no, I didn't shoot. That was the stick. In the middle there we have the wonderful tree of life, which I think we haven't, so to say, directly seen before. So nice to have finally seen it. Yep, buddy, we are stronger. This is actually what I directly enjoy about open Locked world up tight. open world games that there are always things in well I want to say in the middle but um, there are always things coming up unexpectedly. Like this little That's location an here. Aurora totem. Legend has it that activating the four of them together will form a band of your aura in the sky. Okay, but that's a quest. All right, understood. The day is always brighter. Then the night? Okay, yes, that's some logic there, right? Okay, yes, I could have used the mount, I know. But sometimes... Why? There's a motor juice station. Imagine getting go juice whenever you want. But the engagement we will do in the next episode, guys, for now, you know it. As usual, really, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode, please give me a little thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, and hopefully I see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.